This week, I'm sharing an easy trick to hide reference photos from your Procreate time lapses. To give you an idea of how this all comes together, it's, it's really cool. I am going to grab a source photo from my gouache source photos board on Pinterest, and I'll leave a link on screen and in the video description to this. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit, and I'm going to grab this rose. And then if you hit the three little dots right here, choose download image and that will save it to your camera roll and then head into procreate my canvas is 1080 by 1920 so it's super vertical for this and what you want to do is when you go to insert the reference photo you're going to hit the wrench add and then where it says insert a photo drag this over and you'll see something that says insert a private photo and choose that and then select that photo that we just saved to our camera roll. Okay, I just brought this in as a private photo. So now I can enlarge it, reposition it, use it the exact same way that you would a regular reference photo. So I'm going to speed up the video and I'm just going to create a gouache style painting of this. I'm going to be using my gouache lovers brush set for this. I also teach a course on painting in this exact same style if you're interested in that, which I'll leave a link to in the video description as well. So I'm going to grab my thick round textured brush and just give myself an underpainting and then I will paint on top of it. I'm switching to the streaky semi-transparent brush for all of the details for the rose. I've got my painting complete. So first let me show you what it would look like if you just inserted your reference image as a regular photo. So this is the way a time lapse would normally appear. If you're using a reference photo, you can see that photo is in the background the entire time. Let's watch the time lapse of this one where we inserted the reference photo as a private photo. It looks like it is painted from scratch without any reference photo needed. So it's a pretty cool trick. I especially like using this with line art and illustrations like with gouache and watercolor. If you enjoyed this quick tip, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.